getting out there. You've got temperatures now down into the low 70s after a day of 80s. It's been steamy and it has been stormy. You're looking at those showers and thunderstorms stretched out from Greensboro South through High Point right now. The active weather is now pushing into the eastern triad. We've got that line of showers and thunderstorms with a flash flood of warning over Guilford County. That's at least up until 8 o'clock. You can see it here. Our flooding threats are going to continue tonight with flood watches still in effect for Mount Airy through Reedsville, Danville and Martinsville. And we're going to keep that going for another few hours. We are looking at concerns for precipitation rates that have been pretty high, two to three inches per hour. Increased runoff, of course, as we've got very dry ground conditions after all of the drought that has set up for us. We've got severe drought in most of the foothills and parts of the triad, too. So ponding on roads, hydroplaning is possible. And a reminder, flash flood warnings are up. One of the reasons is we've seen some of those reports of those streams and creeks coming up to minor flooding stages. This was just a little bit earlier at Buffalo Creek, and you can see this is an area near Pomona uh, in areas of Guilford County that typically will flood and we'll see some of those streams and creeks. Also the low line areas experiencing difficulties. Another report coming in for us. Heavy rain from thunderstorms flooded one lane of the road up in Sandville. This is up in uh, just northern Patrick County as we get to close to areas of Stewart. So heavy rain here anywhere from four to five inches has already fallen in a couple of these central thunderstorm locations that dropped in that heavy rain. We also have high point Greensboro two to three inches in these zones and you can see that stretched out here two inches in some of the extreme drought locations over areas like Yakutville. So this is great beneficial rain. It just doesn't solve everything, right? The farmers and the folks who really needed that rain sooner have had to do some heavy irrigation to get to this point. And we've also looked at those one and a half inch totals just to the east out in Alamance County. So we still have some have nots. Not everyone has seen that great beneficial rain over the last couple of days, but it is beginning to fill in in areas that we really need it. So we're happy about that. Almost three inches in Martinsville. We'll start to see some of those areas report from the airport sooner, but some of the computers still taking a little bit of time to get back up and going from yesterday's issues. We've got 65 hundredths of an inch in Greensboro, 6 hundredths of an inch so far at the airport in Lexington, and you're getting some really heavy rain right now. So that severe stretch of drought that we've been dealing with with that pocket of extreme drought for Yakin County and parts of Stokes and northern western sections of Forsyth County it got a little bit of help today. You can see as we overlay that over the severe drought locations, these are the areas that needed it and they're getting those two to three inch totals just from this system alone today. Tomorrow we've got another round of storms coming overnight. We'll start to see those showers wind down to just some patchy action similar to what we had early today. Then you've got temperatures warming to 84 rain chances coming up once we get you through two o'clock and those thunderstorms continue also in the foothills with highs at 84 mountains 63 to near 75 for those highs may happen a little earlier until those showers and storms kick in. Then they cool you down a little bit. Rain chances continue to warm up and that's where we or I should say increase through the afternoon. We'll see those warmer temperatures though later this week. Rainfall totals anywhere from a half an inch to an inch as we get you going through late tomorrow evening. So a lot of the rain may start falling after nine o'clock for a lot of folks, but it does look like we have an impressive system to look forward to. So temperatures right now in the 70s and we go overnight looking at fog and that front that's been bringing us some showers and storms kind of hanging with us to bring us another round of heavy rain and potentially localized flooding again tomorrow. Steamy this week though with 80s.